Well, it looks like we are getting ready to see the first ever full cyborg. That's right, a human cyborg. Let's get into it, guys. Welcome to the Conservative Truth. If you don't mind really quick giving this video a like, share it across all of your platforms to help me spread the word, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to enable notifications so you never miss a new video whenever one is posted. But Dr. Peter Scott Morgan, he is the one. He is a scientist. He was a terminally ill. He was diagnosed terminally ill with a motor neuron disease. And actually, I mean, by this point, he was originally diagnosed back in 2017. By all accounts, he should have been dead at this point. However, he decided to take things into his own hands and transition into a full cyborg, okay? We're talking about the fact that this guy created a human-like avatar of himself. This was before he started losing all the muscle mass in his face. He created that. He's got AI technology powering up everything. He's had multiple, numerous surgeries to connect himself to all of this robotics, all of this technology. I mean, even completing the transition. Just the other day, he said the final surgery had been done, and he had a laryngectomy which means that he no longer has a physical voice. And the reason for this was because that it, it prevents the saliva from getting down into his lungs. You know, that is part of the disease as well. So he's eliminating that, but he's going to be able to communicate through the AI technology, even being able to control computers with just his eyes. Now he's calling himself now Peter 2.0. He put his last post out on Twitter just on Thursday, October 10th, he says, this is my last post as Peter 1.0 as I make the full transition to Cyborg Peter 2.0. And he talked about the laryngectomy. Now, guys, I'm going to put some photos down below in the description. Check out those links and you'll see what I'm talking about here with Peter becoming a full cyborg. It's very interesting. Everything that he's gone through to transition to get to this point I mean, he's saying that this is going to buy him decades, okay? After being originally diagnosed terminally ill with this motor neuron disease, he's going to be able to pretty much be fully independent with everything that he has going on right now. But you got to check this out. Let me know what you think. And this begs a bigger question. Is this something that we're going to see in the future with other people? Maybe they're not necessarily terminally ill. But what about if the merging of man and machine coming together to form an army of human cyborgs. Sounds like something that possibly have fell into the wrong hands. It could be devastating. Maybe even with the Antichrist and his army. Something to think about. Guys, I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I will talk with you soon.